You see this stick on my ladder? Let me see if I can run into it. <laughs> run around it. It is actually going to become a clothesline, believe it or not. A clothes drying pole, whatever you want to call it. And I will show you how. Okay, the bike is off the rack and I took the rack off too and laid it on the ground. So, we'll be, ah, ran into the bike. <laughs> okay, so we will work on this project now. So, it's just a piece of wood. Show you how long it is. It's not all that long. I plan on getting a longer board um, later, but I figure this can be my prototype, but it can also be serve, serve for uh, smaller loads with just a few items. Okay, so I'll show you what to do. Easy peasy. Take a pencil and make a mark around your ladder to make a groove that will fit over the post. Do that on the top part on this side and the bottom part on this side. And it doesn't have to be perfection. It just has to be able to stabilize the board. And I don't want to cut too close to the top because this is not a very wide piece of board. Okay. I've got a clothesline and I'm going to staple it on the board in little loops so I can hang my hangers off the loops instead of doing it through holes. Either way works. All right, here's my drill and my paint. And I have a cloth to clean off the board with because I got it out of the barn. And a piece of newspaper to put under it when I spray paint it. Oh, just scrub it down with this thing. Dry scrub it. This is one of those dishwashing things that you scrub pans and such with. Okay, have my tripod set up, my camera set up, my drill, my jigsaw ready to go. Okay, my previous recording didn't turn out well because I went out of frame and didn't realize it. So I'll show you how to cut this side. Pull back the camera a little bit too, maybe that'll help. Okay, we will attempt to cut this side. I hope I'm still in frame. Step on the board to stabilize it. Step on, oops. Hope I'm stay I hope I'm still in frame here. Shoot. What did I hit? Okay, so I got my notches cut. I hope that showed up. There's my board, got my notches cut. Let's go test it out. You cut the notches on opposite sides of the board to be able to strap it over the ladder properly. Let's go check it out. All right, good fit, good fit. So that's how it fits on your ladder, by the notches. And I will spray paint this. 
In case you're wondering, this is really what dumbbells are for. To hold down paper and stuff. So, let this dry. I'll give it another coat. Let that dry. Then I'll flip it over and do two coats on the other side. It has cured for two days now. We're gonna take it over to my ladder and do it a fit before I show you my next step. There we go. That's how it connects. Pretty cool, huh? You just uh, cut out little notches on opposite sides of the board and hang it off your ladder. So now I will show you my next step of how I'm going to create mine. Um, also, I had to hang it off my ladder to see what point to start my loops, which will be right about here. Actually, right about that knot, just a little bit beyond that knot. Some people will drill holes to hang their hangers off of. However, I think that would um, compromise the integrity of this thin piece of wood, which is pretty much just my prototype, but I will still be able to use it for smaller items. Okay, so what I have on hand is a, you don't have to have a 50 foot clothesline, that's just what ha the store happened to have. And it was a buck. So indoor, outdoor clothesline. So I'll open this package. Okay, let's figure out where the end of this clothesline is. That's not it. How did, oh, here we go. And it doesn't matter which side of the board you do this on. Clothesline. See, this is how it goes. So I'm going to staple my clothesline to the board. Again, it doesn't really matter which side you do it on. I'm just using this knot hole. as my base. Let's see, it goes this way. Okay, this is one that goes under and this is one that goes over. So you want to hang your loops accordingly. So, easy, easy, easy project. Staple the line down to your board <laughs> and get it centered. There we go. And I'll probably pull that one out, so I'm going to do a double. There we go. Okay, and I'm going to make little loops to hang hangers or clothespins off of. And I'll do two staples per loop. I'm not hitting this very, oh, it's because I hit the knot hole. And this is much easier than having to drill holes. There you go, and just continue on with your loops. Oh, 
wonder how close I should make them. Probably should make them a little closer to each other. And since this is indoor-outdoor rope, it should last. And I will show you where I store it when I finish. We've got a great storage place, spot for this. Now you can make your loops smaller, closer together rather. I like that. I think I'm going to secure that down too. There we go. That's better. So on this end, I am going to do, make a loop this way, and I'll tell you why in a minute. Make it a little bit of a good size loop there. Oops, went right in the edge of the wood. Just... I could have finished it off on the back. Okay, now I'll do one more. Cut it off. The reason for the loop is key. Okay. There is my bumper. This is where I can store it. I don't store my sewer hoses in there. And then leaving a loop there, I can use my awning arm and grab that loop to get it back out if it slides deep into my into my uh, bumper. And I can also create a longer one. That's a sewer hose that's just been there, it's never been used. So, pretty cool idea, huh? So there you go. There's the ladder mount drying rack. I always save these pant hangers for the purpose of drying stuff with. So, isn't that cool? And there's my loop to pull it out of the bumper with. <laughs>